All right, guys. I <laughs> Sadie's always so loud in the background. I had a friend suggest that I do more TTC videos, and um, I haven't made them because I just haven't had any news. I still don't have any news, but I thought for fun I would take a pregnancy test. Um, just one of these little clinical guard ones that you get in a pack of 50 for like $10. Um, so I do not think I'm pregnant right now. I could be, but it's only 7 or 8 days past ovulation, DPO. Um, so I'm going to try to take this anyway, and we'll see what happens. Um, but I don't think I'm pregnant, and even if I was, I don't know if it would show up because it's so early. My dog's really loud, so let me go get a cup, and I will be back and take this thing and show you guys the results. Okay, you guys, I think you can actually barely see the cup in the corner, but you can't see how gross it is. Anyway, um, so, I think these are the ones you have to wait like five minutes for. Yep. I'm going to dip it. It says three seconds, I think. Yep. One, two, three. Good enough. Okay. So now we have to wait five minutes. Um, let me go let Sadie out. Okay, very clearly, no second line there. Not pregnant. Um, yeah. Go figure. Um, yeah, I don't think I'm pregnant. I hope I am, but I don't think so. And I don't think it, if I were, it would even show up. But anyway, I... It's September... 19th today. We've been trying since January, actually since December 31st. <laughs> um, so yeah, it's been rough to go this long and not be pregnant. I've would gotten pregnant and had the baby by now. Um, so that's really depressing too. I haven't really thought much about that until now. So anyway, I am just trusting the Lord. I have tried to take OPKs and take all my, my um, prenatals and I've done... I've tried, you know, exercising a little bit more. I haven't really been great at that, but I tried giving up coffee. I have tried implementing good foods in my, like, more good foods in my diet. I've tried, um, you know, not tracking and um, drinking coffee and not caring anymore and trying to be a little more stress-free. Now, within this year, my husband has had, or these nine months, my husband has had a lot of stress with his old job, and then we, we both just got new jobs recently, and there's just been a lot of change, and so... Um, I don't know. I don't know if it's just stress that's been keeping us from getting pregnant or if there's something wrong with us, uh, with me or with him. I don't know. I still haven't gotten anything checked or figured out. I said I, I might after, you know, it's not in the summer, but I haven't done it yet. Um, I think I'll just wait the full year, but until I need to go to my doctor again anyway. Okay, so I know I had a thought in mind. I was talking about how we might, or how I'm just going to wait my full year until my next doctor's appointment to discuss anything, but... A lot of times what I hear is that they just give you Clomid, um, so I'm hoping that we can get some answers as to if I have, like, PCOS or anything, or, which I don't think that I do. Um, I have a friend who has PCOS, and her and I were talking about it, and um, I was saying how, you know, because she was like, yeah, I found out, like, I have the body type for it and stuff, and I was like, well, there's Ellie on, you know, from Ellie and Jared here on YouTube, and she's super skinny and can't gain weight, and she has PCOS, so, um... Or has a hard time getting weight. But anyway, so, because typically they say that with PCOS you gain weight. Um, but I, I'm not really gaining weight. I haven't really had any, like, sudden, you know, <laughs> weight gain or anything. Um, I've been, and I don't really, I fluctuate some, but I'm not really big or anything. So, I don't know. Anyway, um, I don't think I have PCOS, but just to, I need to go to the doctor. I'm hoping that they will, Sorry. So yeah, I'm hoping that after a year of, since my last appointment, if we aren't pregnant yet, um, a year of trying, that they will do something besides just give us Clomid, that they will really try to help us out. Um, that would be great. <laughs> so uh, if they do give us Clomid, I mean, maybe I would try it for a month or two, but I know that it can have some serious effects on you. And um, I'm, like people have had some serious side effects with like mental health and stuff, and I feel like I'm prone to depression. Um, so I'm kind of nervous about that idea. So it's something that I'll talk about with my husband and we'll pray and we'll, um, consult our doctors and, uh, all that stuff. So anyway, we'll see what happens, but we'll see what happens, but that's just kind of my update on TGC. Um, it is September 19th. I'm still not pregnant unless that test was wrong, but it looked very negative. And, um, yeah. So anyway, that's what's going on. I... 
I don't really know what else to say. I am currently taking folic acid and um, from menstruation to ovulation I take um, evening primrose oil that is supposed to help with cervical fluid, cervical mucus and stuff. And that's about it. Um, I don't want to go into too many details, but anyway, that's what's happening. And if you have any questions, leave them down below and I can answer them in another video soon. So thanks for watching. I'm sorry to anyone who's watching this and they're struggling as well. I wish I had better advice. Um, but anyway, thanks for watching. Have a great day. God bless and I'll see you guys later. Bye.